Hey guys, it is Tuesday, the 6th of August, 2024, and I'm outside doing a bit of video recording, and so I thought I would do the daily while I was out doing that. I've been uh, having a really successful week just getting videos done for my shows, and I do think that my question, is vidIQ actually working for me? I feel like it actually is. It's very hard to tell because it's going to take a long time for the numbers to catch up and give me good feedback on what I'm doing, but I, I can tell that vidIQ is making me much more diligent about everything I do, it makes me think about a lot of things, more intentional, I'm using that word a lot recently, and um, I feel like I'm, I'm improving my game, even though we had some massive successes that kind of led me to decide to do it, and now I'm in that trough of, of post-success, so which is completely normal, right? You have, ooh, you did something really good, so you get a spike in all of your, all your numbers, and then it comes back to hopefully normal or a little bit above normal, and that's where we are, but of course it looks like we've fallen from these high points, so I'm... But from my eyeballing of what's going on, I feel like since switching to vidIQ about two weeks ago that I'm seeing a consistent improvement in my process and an improvement in my results, and I think that it's working out for me. So I, I feel good about it. Uh, today, another day of not going anywhere. I was able to focus on just getting work done, lots of editing, a bit of stepping outside and recording videos and all of that is making me really happy. So I'm just feeling good about uh, uh, the whole process and stuff and, and being on top of things like just work in general has been good. Now today I had to get all my work done by about 3.30 because Arthur, who is joining our team uh, in September, on September 1st, I think, uh, is uh, came over to do some training and talk about getting work started and stuff. He's got to be in Europe for a few weeks, so he's going to be gone. Uh, and then when he gets back, um, we're hitting hitting the ground with uh, a few months, I think, of just him, but we're in the process, we hope, of building a new team at work. So our goal, I, do, I mean, in a perfect world, it's going to be enormous, right? You just have explosive growth and you hire millions of people. But in a practical sense, our goal is uh, we're really hoping to have a minimum of two successful people uh, and our, our reasonable wild success is to have five successful people uh, on that team over the course of the next maybe six to nine months. So working towards that, but he's the first one. And uh, unless things go just crazy good, we won't be talking about adding a second person until a absolute minimum of 60 days and 90 days, far more uh, of an anticipated number. But so that's going on. So we hung out for several hours tonight um, partially just hanging out. He's a big Dungeons and Dragons player and he, he uh, turned me on to uh, Foundry VTT that looks like a lot of fun and I'm gonna get that I think um, because he uses it, knows a bit about it. My dogs are digging behind me. Hey, stop that. And uh, uh, I think it's going to be a really good tool um, instead of Roll20. It's a cheaper alternative that's supposed to be more modern and, and just a better product than Roll20, which the kids and I have used previously for Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, so I'm hoping that that will work out for us and uh, be a good tool. So he really likes it and he can give me a lot of pointers on it. So we're going to give that a try. Uh, and uh, uh, Mia here is being a little bit crazy. Uh, so, so he was over for a while. The kids did come out and hang out with him for a bit. Luchana's interested in playing Mass Effect, the original trilogy, which I am so excited about because it's like easily in my top five games. It may be my favorite game ever when you take it as a trilogy. I love the storytelling. I love the gameplay. I love everything about it. I love the interspersion of real in-person novels that go in between each chapter of the game. Um, I like even the graphics and the, the feel of the game. Everything about it makes me happy. It's a little bit older and I played it when my kids were really, really young. So they know it as this like distant thing from the past that, that I played. But there's the new legendary version. It's quite good. So we were going to play that tonight. But of course, our our gaming computer that has it broke again and so we're just have so many problems with that thing it is so finicky I'm so sorry that we bought that Dell all those years ago we, we, it's just been a burden but it's got the big graphics card and the giant storage on it and we do keep managing to get it to limp along but it's been not working for so much of its lifespan it is just it is a bit outrageous and uh, so, so we didn't get to play tonight. That was something that we had tried to do, but weren't able to pull it off. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get that fixed by tomorrow, but I don't know. In the past, we've been able to leave it unplugged and it discharges eventually and starts working again. Basically what seems to be going on is it seems to be loaded with capacitors that power some memory that hold 
error codes in them and it just refuses to turn on because it's been told it's not working even though everything works fine. So this is a constant battle. About every second to third time that we turn it on, it won't turn on, but not because anything's wrong with it because it's just really poorly made and, and thinks there's something wrong with it. So I'm really unhappy uh, with Dell on this. We got a great price on it, so I totally understand, but when it comes to quality, the none of our Dell products have been up to par with like Asus and Acer and, and things like that. So was not thrilled about that. I did have to run Arthur home. There was a big rainstorm and none of the taxis would come out here, which is weird, but he's using InDrive and here in Leon that doesn't work really well in, Mon in, in Managua, it works pretty well. So I drove him back. The kids went with me. We went to the Super Express, which is in our old house. That was really cool. They've not been in there yet. So that was a, a neat experience to step into our old house and be like, we're shopping in our living room. So we just got some ice cream and chips and stuff. Um, but we always like going out and doing that together. Uh, and the place next door where we used to have neighbors that we would go hang out with, they now have a pizza shop there. They, I don't know if it's the same people. Someone has a pizza shop where we used to have neighbors. Uh, Snoopy's Pizza, we haven't been in there yet. And all this is right around the corner from Arthur's house. He's like, wait, the Super Express next to my house is your old house? That's so cool. Uh, we came, came back and since we couldn't do that, Liesl and I watched a little bit of Third Rock, maybe two episodes. Uh, and then I did a little bit more video editing because we were just hoping Mass Effect would work at some point, uh, but it never did. And and then um, for a while in the evening, the girls and Minerva the cat came into my office and hung out for quite a bit. Uh, at one point, Minerva was out in the house and Dominica let uh, uh, Clive loose and they actually had a fight in the living room. We've been trying to keep them apart so diligently and that was a fail. So they had a pretty nasty fight, but no one got hurt. Uh, and that was our evening. So I'll see all of you tomorrow.